Hi to everybody who is watching this. Thank you so much for tuning in to Rolling Stone India. Uh, my name is Luke Ishikawa Plowden. I am Japanese American, but I am acting in Thailand and I'm super happy to be here. It's a wonderful question actually. Uh, and I think definitely things have taken a much more positive turn for the better in terms of Thai series becoming more global, even in the last five years since I've been here. Uh, I think there are a few reasons. The, the first is that the quality of producers, directors, actors, the quality of the talent, I think is definitely increasing in Thailand. We're becoming much, much more serious about gaining a global stage. So I think that's been really a big part of it, just a collective effort to try and really push the boundaries of what's possible for Thai entertainment industry. The more specific reason in the past recent years has been BL series. Uh, the Siri Y, as uh, some people call it, BL, as other international uh, fans call it, um, has blown wildly in popularity on a global scale. Um, because of its inclusivity towards the LGBTQ community, uh, as well as the quality of wonderful actors that have gone into this uh, this type of uh, this type of entertainment, uh, I think it's been a huge reason for why Thai series have been more popular worldwide. Uh, a third reason is our very own our very own uh, what do you cool why. Uh, Boy, boy love couple who have exploded on the international scene, Bright and Win have really taken Thailand and GMM TV series to new heights. They've definitely brought in new audiences from all around the world to be not just interested in boy love series, but also Thai entertainment in general. So thank you so much to those two guys. Uh, yeah, so those are some reasons for why Thai entertainment is getting bigger and maybe uh, I'll be the reason in the future. <laughs> I think the Thai entertainment industry or entertainment industry in general is, is similar, to, similar to other entertainments. It's, it's, it's hard work. Um, it's a pre preparation on behalf of everybody involved from all the way from the crew to the director, the producers, the actors, the people involved in funding, the wonderful sponsors. Uh, it's a big collective effort from, from everybody to make a project happen. Uh, what I've loved about it specifically has been, I, I'm, I'm living my dream right now. I, I knew from since the time that I was 22 when I made the decision to start my whole career in this process of first doing modeling and then having the goal in the back of my head that I wanted to be an actor. Um, I'm, just, I'm just living the dream. I, I'm grateful to myself. I'm proud of myself that I was able to learn Thai and get to this point in my career when I can play a variety of characters um, and yeah, just do what I love, express myself, embrace every character that comes my way, embrace the people that I'm working with on a daily basis, it's been wonderful. Wow, the whole last three years, it's, a, it's been a lot to reflect on. Gosh, last three years? That's like how long I've been in, <laughs> that's how long I've been acting. Um, it's been so wonderful. I, I can't be more grateful to GMMTV, everybody who's been involved in, in selecting me for different roles, giving me the opportunities that I've, that have been handed to me somewhat and that I've, that I've worked for in other areas of my life. Um, I'm really excited for the future, moving forward as well. If I were to reflect on the past, the past three years, I, I think the, the standout for me has been consistent practice. Um, everything that, that has happened so far, like everybody talks about what, what is success. Success is opportunity meets preparation, and that could not be more true for me. Uh, for, for my career, I, I came here at 22, started modeling, and then I started in my first drama when I was 24. Uh, you know, my boss, after having 
diligently practice Thai for two years and then fully immerse myself in the culture and trying to learn every day, uh, trying to make speaking Thai just a part of everyday life, like making sure that it's, it's a part of the, every conversation, using it with whoever I can, um, and then putting myself out there to be open to all the people that I meet, uh, just being nice, kind, consistently happy, um, willing to be on time, willing to put in the extra hours of preparation for, for my roles, um, doing the homework, doing the, doing the work every day. Um, that's been what the takeaway has been for me, is just if you want to, if you want to achieve something, you have to put your heart and soul and everything into it. There's no halfway, there's no, it, it has, you have to give it 110%. Yeah. So uh, addressing social media first, I think social media is a wonderful tool for actors, content creators, artists, anybody who wants to share their work and have a potential to have it be seen by a huge number of people. It's free, it's right on your phone, on your computer. You can develop the content that the way you want it to um, for everybody to enjoy. So I think that's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for, for actors or people, people like myself. For OTT services, I think it's, it's also a big positive for, for actors because the expansion of and the increased competition of online streaming services where before there's only a few companies that would be interested in hiring actors for their content. And now there's many, many different companies. Uh, bef I mean, Netflix sort of opened the gateway for Disney+, Plus, for Hulu, for uh, Amazon Prime TV, for ICE, for VIU, and now GMM will probably have their own streaming service. So there's, there's just so many more opportunities for actors to get opportunities. Um, and it's, it's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful time to be an actor, in my opinion, I think, because the, the opportunities couldn't be... The, there's more than ever before. As an actor, I want to go as far as I can. Uh, my my lane in acting, I think going forward, I want to do, I'm open to all roles, uh, but I think the, the roles that I have enjoyed the most have been action, thriller kind of situations where I can have long action scenes, um, really deep emotional gut-wrenching scenes, scenes that, I, I like epic things. Um, I'm a big fan of <laughs> some of my, top movies of all time are Avengers Endgame, Avatar 1 and 2, Inception, Dunkirk, just really big, huge scale movies. Um, so if I could be a part of that project, any one of those projects, that would be a dream come true for me. Uh, good people. Um, you need to surround yourself, for, and particularly for this industry, I think in order to be successful, you have to keep the people who you love close, uh, hold them tight, and be open and emotional, and open your heart to those around you who you, who you really care about, um, whether that be family, friends, uh, people around you. I, I think that's really essential for me to stay grounded and to keep myself on the right track as well. Um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the people around me. So yeah, definitely an essential want and need to have good people around you. So thank you so much for those of you watching this video. I actually, I, I knew that I had some fans in India before this, but I didn't know there were so many, so I'd like to Thank you all for watching my content, enjoying it. Um, thank you so much Rolling Stone India for giving me this opportunity as well. I hope many people are interested in, in, in my story, I guess. Uh, and I hope you will enjoy my upcoming projects, The Jungle for GMM TV and Slith, which will be a sci-fi uh, sci action 
thriller movie that will be coming out um, at the end of this year. So thank you so much.